as half of the third world arrives at Europe's doorstep with a begging bowl and jams its foot in the open door, our governments continue to put on an absurdly obvious pretense of tackling the situation, constantly telling us they're fully focused on the issue, despite all the evidence being to the contrary. They arrive, they're shuttled to their four-star hotel, and a plethora of money-grubbing, taxpayer-funded, legal aid, human rights lawyers rally around making sure they can't be marched onto the first boat or plane back home. They get their benefits, they get their job training, they get a job placement and they get their social housing, all courtesy of the great British taxpayer, who of course has no real say in the matter and who incidentally is berated every time they might question just exactly what's going on here. We're constantly told these individuals are asylum seekers, refugees, and it's our moral duty to help them. But they're nothing of the sort. Whilst they may be arriving here from poor countries, they're not coming from war zones. Their claims to persecution are tenuous at best. They're here for economic reasons, as clearly demonstrated by the fact that they bypass several other European countries to get to the UK, land of handouts and virtue signalling. They're here for money and a better quality of life, which is fine, but there's no moral obligation on the part of the British people to financially facilitate that. And at the same time, the vile people traffickers who usher thousands onto the boats, only for many of them to die at sea, are left to ply their despicable trade unfettered. There's no attempt to crack down on these evil criminals, only empty words and bluster. And why is this happening? It's happening because it suits our bought and paid for politicians and the business interests that they work for to flood the UK with cheap, unskilled migrant labour to make the job market ultra competitive, allowing business owners to keep the wages of their ground level workers artificially low so that they can maximise their profits and fill their own pockets to bursting. It's an attack on the poorest working people in society and is fuelled by greed. They don't care about the cultural erosion, the social divisions. They don't care about the lack of adequate housing in this country to accommodate substantial year-on-year -year net migration increases. And all the money filters up to the Davos Collective, who use it to shelter and sequester themselves from the brutal realities of life for most people, while they indulge in an increasingly psychopathic ideological agenda, the sick manifestation of their rampant, uncontrollable narcissism. Please do like and subscribe, and for early access to all my content, support me on Patreon by following the link below this video. I'm doing a live stand update in Swindon next Friday, the 21st of July. Ticket link also beneath this video. This channel only exists with your support, so please do contribute what you can. Thanks for watching.